But I think you have to be the master of your own future. I think that that you hold it in your hands to make the only people that can make decisions about you are you, right? And yeah, you've got family considerations. You get a lot of things that you that we all need to to deal with. The other thing is, I'm much more effective when I'm me, and not trying to be a CEO or trying to be, you know, some somebody I'm not. And earlier in my career, a lot of bosses tried to make me in a different image. They tried. I had sharp elbows earlier, and I you can't have sharp elbows all through your career. Yeah, it's, it's okay starting out maybe. Um, but they tried to soften them or sand them their way. And I had to learn how to do it my way. Right. Um, and you know, the best advice I had when I was taking over the leadership at DuPont was my predecessor. And what he said is if you just be you, you'll do great. And I think that's a hard thing to learn early in your career because we're always second guessing ourselves and always saying, you know, how could I have done that better? And I think that's positive. We always have to learn, right? But I think you got to be true to yourself because at the end of the day, it is about um, not only contributing and feeling fulfilled in terms of what you're doing, um, but it's also doing it in a way that that you, you know, can look at and say, yep, I'm, you know, might not have all done it all right, but I'm very proud of where you know, what I stood up for, what I did and, uh, and the like. So just, you know, be yourself um, and really be the master of your own future.